There's a small backstory to Pong World by Atari and Z Games. To celebrate the game's 40th anniversary, Atari sought out indie developers to update the classic arcade game, and the end result is a fantastic concept that gives the game a shuffle puck like spin by giving the player direct control over the action. However, a great idea can only take you so far when it's smothered by a relentless freemium model of almost endless monotonous gameplay and design decisions that hamper the gameplay on the iOS platform. The basic gameplay remains much the same as the original Pong, with players being placed against AI-controlled opponents – same device multiplayer is also available – in a first-to-score five match of bouncing a ball from top to bottom. The modern twist comes in three distinct flavours. Firstly, the ball is now subject to spin as well as angle, which can result in crazy loop-de-loops that may even work against you. Secondly, each paddle is represented by a creature, with each sporting a unique ability and additional upgrades that can be purchased with in-game cash. Lastly, each of the four available stages feature a unique power-up that modifies the field. Sadly, the end result is a match that's muddled by shots skewing back and forth while the ball bounces off blocks scattered around the field. It gets even worse if you have an iPhone 5 device with the extra screen width as the controls cut out completely if your finger is so much as a pixel off the basic screen. If you've never been angry at a game, this may do the job. The final nail in the coffin is the lack of meaningful progression as the prohibitive cost of items force you to play the same old match over and over until you can afford something to mix things up. Pong World is a delightful concept and one that looks fantastic on paper, and on screen as well. But there's something sacred about the simple charm of dueling with paddles in a ball that's broken by this game and it's hard to forgive. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.